Being the author of your own life comes with responsibilities and opportunities, and it's up to you to make the most of it. DJ and radio host Dion Govender has written himself into a rags to riches epic and recently added a chapter of fairy tale romance. Kriya visited him in Durban for the full story. Hey, welcome to the world! If you're a night owl by preference or late shift worker by necessity, the voice of a radio presenter can make the dark hours a lot less lonely. And Dion Govender is an ideal companion. He's equally at home at the controls of a high energy station or a high powered car. And Kriya was looking forward to catching up with a fellow rider of the airwaves. One of my biggest passions in life is radio and having the ability to connect with so many people. Someone who shares this passion is Dion Govender, but it hasn't always been fast cars, bright lights and celebrity lifestyles. Today we get to know Dion a little bit better. Dion! How are you? Good on yourself. Good you. Welcome back to Melo. It's so good to catch up with you. It's been a couple of years. <laughs> Where did your love for radio come from? Well, I was 15. I tried to do some radio work. Back then, when radio was all about the voice, uh, I'm saying it like it was years ago, <laughs> <laughs> but it was at a good time and uh, I, I tried to do some shows and the guy said, hey, you have talent. And I was like, nah, I'm 15. What do I know about radio? And little did I know that that small little seed, that taste of radio was where it all began. So at the age of 15, you took a little bit of a break from radio. Why? When I finished school, I had a little bit of a burst. It was to study something that I wanted to do. But basically what you wanted to do wasn't necessarily what you had to do in the situation. We had no home, my parents and I, and we literally had a life where I had to pick up the pieces for my parents and myself and build a life. Dion's reputation isn't built on radio work alone and he's also DJed at some of Kauteng and KwaZulu-Natal's trendiest night spots, not to mention live events with an audience of thousands. You don't only do radio and television, you also do a lot of events. With the career being what it is, if you're not putting your channels in every other department of, of radio, radio comes with MC work, comes with DJing at events. The fact that I'm blessed to play at all these big events where there's thousands of people, then you get to see a different element of the DJing career because radio is presenting. Outdoor eventing is proper DJing where you actually are playing a song, people go crazy. And when you see that, that's the best adrenaline rush any, anyone can get. You got married recently and it was a fairy tale wedding, but we'll get into that in a little bit. How did you guys meet? We've known each other for a few years, but we're just friends. You know the whole line, we're just friends. Then of course, I think something happened uh, over the years in 2015 where we actually made it official that, hey, you are my life partner. You're everything I want. Let's just start dating. You also did an absolutely amazing proposal. The proposal was difficult because we were planning a trip to go to Venice, Italy. During that time, I already knew I was the proposed to. So I went, I got the ring. One of the James Bond movies was filmed outside St. Mark's Square, which is where, is where I proposed to her. So I booked a few people to serenade her. So we went to a restaurant and when she came out, I asked her, would you marry me? And she said yes. Dion and Talitha took a gondola ride along the canals of Venice. But the story didn't end there. After your proposal, you guys did an engagement shoot. Because we had an engagement so wow, we felt that there wasn't anything local. Durban, there was nothing Durban. So we said, in Durban, where can we go that we can do a shoot that will actually symbolize everything we love? And we said Zimbali was the place. And we did a his and her shoot. So her car, my car, personalities about what we do and we love. This would probably have satisfied your average romantic, but there's nothing average about Dion and Talitha, and the actual wedding was held in Bali. Doing a wedding in Bali must have been a lot of work. What planning did you do? The experience about a destination wedding just leaves you saying, I'll never forget that. When we looked for venues, we both agreed that we want to have an intimate wedding and take the extra money and put it towards that. My then fiance and I said, let's just have 15 close people, our immediate family, and few friends who can afford the flight to Bali. The bridal couple at the wedding party set off to their Indonesian island destination, where they checked into an exclusive villa estate before exchanging vows at a mountaintop venue. Because you're such a romantic, you've got to give us a few tips on how to woo a woman. I think in today's society, if you meet somebody who's humble, down to earth, and have the same goals as you, all you gotta do is make sure that they're appreciated, make sure they're told they're loved, 
and cared for all the time. It's the small gestures that matter. Being in the media industry can be quite difficult. Do you have any advice for youngsters trying to get into the industry and stay in the industry? There will be many doors that will close and a lot of stations may just say you're not part of what they want. But I think the right one will come. You just got to believe and uh, make sure that uh, when it does come, you embrace it and run with it. Dion's career advice echoes his approach to romance and relationships. And there's a lot to be said for being patient and following your instincts. You are my heart's keeper and I promise to take care of your heart from now on and always. Mm -hmm.